back so today in this video we will study about the sets and this inbuilt function of the set so now let's just simply start with the so set are used to store multiple items in a single variable okay so they the sets are also like uh, we can say tuple but the major difference between the sets and the tuple is that sets are an order unchangeable and unindexed okay and the bracket used in sets is the curly bracket and one more thing like we are saying that it is unordered unchangeable and unindexed but in spite of this you can add the item and you can also remove it okay so this is the definition of sets and now with an example let me show you for an example i have created set fruit and the curly bracket i have apple in it and we have it as cherry okay and now if i okay sorry guys now i print this fruits see this is how the sets work okay guys now coming to the functions of the set so the fuck first function of the set is the add function for example let us create a very sorry set with the, the elements 1 2 3 and suppose we have also a string in it letter name a and the b okay guys now suppose if i want to add another element in the set so what i am going to do is the simply start with the name of the set and the syntax add and after the it any element which you want to add suppose i want to add the python and if i print as so what i will get is this guys okay so now you would be thinking like why i am getting this python at the end so as i have told you that it is unordered so that's why we are getting the python at the end you can get the python at the any place between them okay so that's why we refer set as an unordered so i hope that this thing is very much clear to you guys and now let's just start with the another function now the function is remove function okay so let me comment it out okay suppose i want to remove any element from it so how can i do start with the simply s and the syntax remove and after the bracket and the element which you want to remove for an example i want to remove three so just simply enter the three here and run this code see guys now three is being misplaced from here okay guys so this is how the remove function works and here comes the another function which is same as remove which is discard okay so the work of this function is same suppose i have start with the string s and discard i want to again remove suppose 2 okay, and i print this see guys now 2 is being removed from here now what is the difference between the discard and remove you would be definitely thinking so the difference between the remove and discard is suppose the element in we are using remove and suppose the element 3 is not present in the set so it will give you an error but in the case of discard it will not give you an error if the element is not present in the set i hope guys that this thing is very much clear to you now there is one another function which is pop okay so it also removes the element from the set now what is the difference in the pop suppose so syntax is simple as you can see on the screen guys okay so now what's the difference between all these suppose i am running this pop function with the empty okay i am running this empty so it will remove the element according to it it can remove any element okay suppose now i run this code okay let us see which element so it has removed the one okay guys so i hope that this thing is clear and now suppose i want to remove all the elements from the set 
so the function for this is the clear function so syntax is very simple guys syntax is same in all these okay you can see on the screen it is very easy to understand guys okay now if i print this see guys now it is showing the set as empty so this function is used to remove all the element from the set now let us move to the next terminal suppose i have set s1 okay guys and it has the value suppose 1 2 3 4 and the another set s2 sorry guys and i'm a, and i'm a having value in it 3 4 5 6 7 okay suppose now i have to find the union in it so how i'm gonna do this is just simply see on the guys screen and focus it on okay so just simply print and the s1 whose union what you want to see okay and this dot union and again bracket and s2 okay guys now if i run see guys now i'm getting a union of it okay so let me tell you about the union so the all elements present in these two so the in the result there should be one element present of it okay suppose for an example i am having two three here so one three is mandatory okay it will all it will always show you one one element all present in the these two set okay and you can also perform this same operation using operator also like for an example let me show you guys just simply type the print and the bracket just simply start with s1 and this operator in between and s2 and if i run this see guys you can see that i am getting the same result you can find the union with this operator also and similarly you can find the intersection also of this let me comment it out okay now suppose i have to find the intersection so i will do just simply with the set we, I, it is very simple guys i have only two set here it is not that much of difficult enter section okay guys just simply type the intersection and the another bracket and the s2 and the another set and just simply control shift plus enter see guys now i'm getting a intersection of only three and four is common in this so the intersection give you the common elements so the three and four are both common in these two so that's why we are getting a result and the another method to find the intersection is okay let me show you just simply start with the print it's very simple as okay and s1 and after it you have to use this and symbol okay and s2 see guys now i'm getting also same output three and four so this is how the intersection you're gonna do in the python and now guys suppose you want to see this set s1 is subset of the set s2 so how you can check it so let me show you okay just simply start with the print and in the bracket the s1 which you want to check and is subset see guys how easy it syntax is just simple is subset and then the s2 see guys it is showing the answer false so the s1 is not a subset of s2 and similarly you can also reverse it also if you want to check in the reverse order and now to check the superset okay let me comment it out just come to the other line start with the print and the s2 suppose i want to check s2 for the s1 so start with the s2 and dot is a superset see guys how easy syntax is it is like just we are writing a book or anything else okay so s1 see guys 
it is showing the false and it is showing the answer correct because s2 is not a subset of s1 and okay suppose let i let me change the elements okay okay one is not present let me add the one here and i hope that two is also not present okay see guys now i have added the elements if i now run it okay i'm getting error let me check it okay i have actually put the two comma here okay if i run it see, now guys it is showing the true so why because s2 is a subset of s1 the all the elements of s1 are present in the s2 okay i hope guys that everything is clear in this video okay and if you are not getting you can also try this in your own python compiler after it the things will be very much clear to you i am pretty sure so please subscribe to our channel devtown and see you in the next video